The title of today's class is Senior Citizen, Honored Elder, Master Warrior. Senior Citizen, Honored Elder, Master Warrior. Now let's start off with Senior Citizen. Nobody wants to be a senior citizen. It has the connotations of being over the hill, uh, an old fogey, uh, although certainly we're all grateful for the senior citizen discounts. Now, you can, what is a senior citizen? Now, you start getting senior citizen discounts in the United States in the year 2011. Some places are 50 years of age, some places 55. You can get a 10% discount at a restaurant or at a hotel, so certain, or even uh, at movies. Now, some places say you have to be over 60 or over 65, but generally it starts at 50, starts moving stronger, and at 55, you're a senior citizen. And at 50, you can be a member of ARP, the American Association of Retired Personnel. What I want to do is talk about what is a senior citizen, and I want to encourage everyone to go towards being an honored elder and a master warrior. We're going to talk about the criterion for being a senior citizen, an honored elder, and a master warrior. But in the contrasting terms is then youth, honored younger, and warrior. So you've got senior citizen, honored elder, and master warrior, and then you have at the other side of it youth, honored younger, and warrior. So honored younger is a new term. We're going to talk about what these terms are, how we define them, and how we achieve advancing ourselves within each category. So a senior citizen is just defined by how old you are. And you have people, for instance, in senior living arrangements that are there. Typically, they've raised their families. They've retired from their jobs. And we have an epidemic in this, in this country, and perhaps in Western society, of often there's not a sense of purpose because they've raised their families. They're, they're not working anymore in a, at a job. And often there's a lack of purpose and direction and meaning in life. And it's just a matter of until the ambulance gets there one time and they're taking you away. They're taking away this one. You hear the, you hear the sirens. The ambulance shows up. The person in the next room went. And it's this room. Now, this is the issue of the person himself or herself, but it's also a, a matter of society. Really, the retirement, let's talk about the retirement homes, which is kind of the epitome of the senior citizen model. You know, the old terms of being not independent living so much, you're going away from totally independent living, now you're in dependent living. And so, really, I'm advocating changing the retirement home to, to houses of wisdom, houses of wisdom and repositories of historical knowledge. So a house of wisdom, because the individuals who have lived it long, this long, and the average age probably in a retirement home is probably 70, maybe 75. And they remember America when it was a very different kind of a society. It was more rural. The idea of transforming the retirement homes to house of wisdom. One, individuals need to know they have wisdom to share. And they certainly have knowledge of the history of this country. Because they remember when it was a very different country, when, when we were more rural, what it was like to grow up on the farms. We'll be losing those individuals. We're already losing the whole generation of war, World War II veterans leaving us. Tremendous knowledge of, of historical perspective. But in order for these to become houses of wisdom and not retirement homes, the children, the grandchildren, the nieces and nephews, they have to have a different view of the elder. Instead of thinking of as a senior citizen, they have to look at the person as an honored elder at least. Somebody that they can learn from. Come in and say, Grandma, Grandpa, um, can you, what advice do you have to give me about marriage, or about money, about health? Uh, what have you noticed about what it takes to become successful as a student, as a father, as a mother? And to learn. And so as our seniors, our great, which is one of our, our so-called seniors, uh, one of our greatest natural resources are our elders. The knowledge, 